What's going on guys and girls? In today's video, I'll be showing you how to write SEO optimized articles and I'll be showing you my SEO workflow that I use when using Claude, specifically using Claude Opus, which is their latest large language model. So let's go ahead and get started. In order to get access to Claude Opus, you can upgrade your plans um, to a pro plan or you can head over to the API console and you can start prompting. And as you can see here, we will get access to the Claude three models, including Claude. Opus. So there's a couple of different ways in which you can access Claude, just depending whatever works for you and the region in which you're living at. So once we have Claude open, I'm going to start by um, priming the AI. So essentially, I'll be using my SEO master prompts. If you want to get access to these prompts, I will leave a link for it in the description below today's video. You just enter your email and you'll get uh, an email with the prompts. It does take about five to 10 minutes to come over. So just be a little bit patient if you enter your uh, information in and you don't see the email right away. So I'm going to go ahead and just prompt the AI. So just by entering this into my system settings here. So this is the system prompt. And now what I'm going to do is I'm now going to go ahead and enter my prompt for my outline. So when writing SEO optimized content, we can simply go ahead and tell the AI to, you know, write the outline for whatever keyword in which we're writing about. And it usually does a pretty good job. So I'll also be showing you another step in which we can take to write a more comprehensive and SEO optimized outline. So this is where you're going to insert your keyword. Now, let's say, for example, we're writing an article about best AI consultants, and I'll be writing this specific for the region of Toronto. So this can be my keyword. And then what I can do is I can then go ahead and write the full article. So if I were to write the article, all I have to do is click um, run and then the outline will start writing. So let's go ahead and click run. And as we can see here on the right hand side, the article will um, start writing. I probably would want to tell it to write in markdown mode because that will allow me to then easily convert the content. But Again, as you can see here, this is the um, outline which we're getting back. So another way in which we can make this outline a little bit better is we can copy over our keyword, head over to Google, paste that into Google, and then we can see some of the top ranked blog posts. So for example, clutch, or let's try to find a blog post. Let's see here, this is a blog. Yeah, so this is a blog post. So what we can do is we can then go ahead and use a tool like Harpa AI, hit control A, launch Harpa AI, and then we can go ahead and extract the outline or we can even extract any information from these websites. So if you're creating a listicle style blog post, so we can simply tell it to extract the information from this blog post, or we can tell it to extract the specific list from these blog posts or whatever um, kind of works for you. And as you can see here, the AI will then go ahead and extract that information. And then we can take that information, we can pop that into our blog post or even our blog post outline to help write more up to date and relevant information because this topic is very, very specific that I'm writing about. So if I wanted to, I could actually go ahead and find these AI consultants, include them within my within my blog post, and then I can use that and I'll have a much more up to date article. Because if we see here, if we go back over to Claude, Claude is really good, but as you can see here, it actually did not include any of these specific companies. So again, what I can do is I can head over to let's head over to Harpa, copy over some of these people. And then we can tell the AI to, so now what we need to do before we do that, because it is a little bit different when you're using Claude 3, we need to add this over to the conversation. And now we need to enter a prompt. So we can tell it to write the full article, but then also when writing, include this information. Okay, so I went ahead and included that information of the people that we want to include within this article. So now I'm going to combine that with my prompt for the full article. Another tip in which you can do is you can copy over outlines from different competitors, top ranked blog posts, and you can pop this into um, into the user section to tell it to combine the outline in which it generated with the new outlines um, that we got from these uh, various top ranked websites. So essentially, you'll be combining the outline that the AI wrote with an outline from um, Google, which allows you to get a much more SEO optimized piece of content. So again, what I'm doing here, I'm just going to going to go ahead and paste in now the prompt to write the full article, right? And I just went ahead and pasted in some more information. So we're having a more up to date uh, blog post. And now I'm going to go ahead and click run. So if the AI stops writing, you need to go ahead and increase the maximum tokens. And then what you can do is you can add it to a conversation and then tell it to continue writing. So there's a little bit of playing around with um, the Opus mode, when you're, especially when you're using it in um, the API console. You kind of have to figure out um, how to use it. But once you use it a couple of times, it's not too difficult. As you can see here, 
it's writing the article it's in markdown format so once it's finished then we'll copy it over convert it into markdown and we'll also test the seo score of this article and again if it stops writing just hit add to conversation and hit continue writing and it will start writing the good thing about claude is that you're able to write really long really in-depth articles so your articles will uh, stand out against any other ai generated articles from using this method because first of all it's seo optimized but also you're writing a lot more content in terms of length so here's the full article once we convert it into markdown as you can see here it's pretty good there's a couple lists they've went ahead and included that information that we fed into the ai and as you can see, it is pretty long. In terms of word length, it is 3,900 words, so almost 4,000 words, which is really, really good, really long, really in-depth, and a type of content that will actually rank on Google. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to test the AI optimization score. So to do so, I'm going to use New One Writer, which is an SEO content um, editor and analysis tool. So essentially, it will give you recommendations that you need to make in order to make sure that your content is optimized for Google. So we're going to enter a query, which is the topic essentially, which we're writing about the best AI consultants in Toronto. And then we're going to go ahead and click start. And essentially what new and writer is going to do, it's going to gather all of the most important ranking factors from the top ranked blog post, put it all into one place and tell us what we need to do in order to rank for this specific keyword. So I guesstimate that this is going to be longer than any other article for this topic so you know if you're writing a long in-depth article on a very niche topic that there's not much competitors and you can you can have confidence in knowing that you will most likely be able to rank for that specific um that specific topic so what we're going to do is we're going to wait until this is finished and then we're going to go ahead and do our seo optimizations so once it's all loaded up then we can go ahead and paste in our content and as you can see, we should be able to get an increase in our content optimization score. So we're already at a 35. Then we can enter a title. We can AI generate the title, which is actually does a pretty good job. And then we can also AI generate the description. So now that we have both of those, let's just make sure that this has included some of the keywords. Yep. So once we're happy with this, we can save and close. So we're at a 52 in terms of content optimization. And we can simply easily um, increase our content score by just making sure h1 tags are properly optimized so let's go to terms and headers and we can see that we need to include these keywords within our header so we can include something like this um if we optimize our h1 by adding best ai company in toronto or best artificial intelligence consulting we go all the way up to a 57 so now what we can do is because this score is fairly low i can then go ahead and enter these h2 and these h3 terms within the h1s the h2s then i can also go ahead and enter the terms in articles throughout the article and I should be able to have a pretty optimized piece of content. But right off the bat, I can say that this article, I know it's pretty good. I know it's pretty optimized and I know that this article will definitely rank on Google just because of the process in which we used. So that's my process in which you can follow my workflow that you can use to write SEO optimized articles using Claude 3 Opus. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video and I hope that you learned something new. If you did, let it be known by giving us a big thumbs up and subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. Also, if you'd like to check out my AI writing tool, which is called Word Rocket, you can try it for completely free. It is really, really good at giving you high quality in-depth articles. I will leave a link for the free account in the description below today's video. And also, if you want to join my exclusive community, this is my exclusive school community where I have live weekly meetings, which you can meet with me one-to-one. -one. Or you can also get quick access to my classroom, which has all of my new up-to-date information on writing AI content and, write and ranking AI content on Google. So this is all new information that's not on my YouTube channel. So again, if you want to check this out, um, I will leave a link for Word Rocket. I'll also leave a link for my school community in the description below today's video. Take care and I'll see you in the next video.